Hello guys and welcome back to another video. It has been a while since I last talked about TVs and projectors and anything in between like that. And today what you have here is the Samsung Freestyle. If you know about this product, Samsung actually launched this projector back in CS 2022. That is a few months back and I finally got my hands onto this projector. And there is a reason why the internet has a lot of opinions about this particular projector. After using it for a week, this is what I want to share with you. And if you see the title and the thumbnail, you probably already know I'm not really satisfied with this product. So let's begin. Okay, so first of all, uh, this particular unit is not a retail sample provided by Samsung because they probably want us to have a quick hands-on with the product so they quickly send us a some sort of engineering sample or this is actually a marketing sample not for sale and the package is entirely basic there's no fancy uh, packaging and everything what i got in the box is just the projector the charging adapter and a usb cable which i don't know where i put and a remote control for this thing so this is a uh, very interesting little remote control. It charges using a USB type C so you don't have to look for AAA batteries and because of the built-in battery the size of this remote control is actually very small. It is basically like a miniaturized of their current TV remote controls and I like it a lot. The charging adapter itself is a uh, high powered uh, USB PD uh, adapter so because this projector requires a power input. Yes, here's my first complaint about this projector. Even though they call it a freestyle, but you have no freedom when you want to use it. And that's a problem with this thing. If there is no built-in battery, it is no longer a portable projector. I mean, we have tried a lot of uh, portable projectors nowadays and all of them have built-in batteries that easily last for around two up to three hours and uh, that is enough for one movie um, I don't understand why Samsung could not build in a battery into this device of this size you know the recent review we have played with the Lumos nano projector that thing is just the size of a soda can actually smaller than this one I know that thing is low resolution and bad image quality if you want to compare to this one but hey look at the size that thing is capable of stuffing in a battery but not Samsung didn't manage to do it for this one I don't understand why and the solution they had for the freestyle is actually a battery base basically a cylindrical battery and then you just put this base on top of it you will still need to plug in the i mean a usb-c cable to the battery base and then connect to the usb-c port on the freestyle they never show it on their promotional videos and speaking of the connectors you have two ports one usb type c and one uh, micro hdmi since the type c port is exclusively used for power input that means what is left for the projector is just a micro HDMI and Samsung never provide a micro HDMI adapter in the box so if you want to connect to your laptop or any other sources you will need to separately purchase a micro HDMI adapter I know some of you might argue that Samsung wanted to promote the online lifestyle uh, basically everything is wireless and all your content consumption is basically through on-demand live stream such as Netflix, YouTube and even casting from your device so it is a connected projector instead of the traditional HDMI based projector yes I understand it is a viable option but given that there are a lot more portable projectors smaller than the size of this that is capable of putting a full-size HDMI port to the side of the projector or anywhere else of the projector I don't see the reason why Samsung could not do it for the freestyle 
and if they could not do it they could have at least provided a dongle or adapter inside the box other than that really uh, you have only one of these as input so you don't have uh, USB and that also brings us to the next thing which is you have no 3.5 millimeter audio output jack and that leaves you with uh, probably three options number one use the built-in speaker number two use Bluetooth speakers or number three if you happen to have a HDMI adapter you might actually get it to work with HDMI eARC and connect to whatever soundbar or any sort of uh, audio devices that support ARC. That basically for the connectivities. And the next thing is the design of this projector. Now they do come with this translucent lens cap and it is part of their feature so you can use it as a some sort of a light show. I don't know why you want to waste the lifespan of your projector uh, light bulb just for the light show you can easily purchase all those uh, RGB light bulbs for a very cheap price but hey it's your device and the way how this projector works is there's this metal base and it is screwed into the projector on both sides left and right side the screw you will have to be very careful with it because since it is made out of some sort of plastic uh, you will strip the screw in no time if you want to use a screwdriver so my best suggestion is you use a coin to screw this but um, I don't think you will want to unscrew this uh, often so just avoid touching the screw unless you want to tighten up the grip the previously the guy who reviewed this probably tried to take it apart and then they didn't screw in properly so it will like uh, go down if I don't just touch it but you get the idea and the other reason why you want to remove the screw is because Samsung actually sell alternative skin for the projector yes skins for this projector the I should call it sleeve here's the thing if you look closely at this the projector is actually sleeve inside a soft touch material sleeving this entire white thing is actually a sleeve for the projector and they actually have other colors but I don't really see any um, attractive point for those colors and I tried to remove the sleeve because Samsung actually sent us the sleeve to replace and I could not get it out of this sleeve in short it is impossible scrap that Anyway, let's move on with the actual user experience. It has auto vertical keystone. That means whenever you adjust the angle of the projector, the sensors will actually detect the wall and the projection and then it will automatically adjust the keystoning vertically. So uh, it is very accurate as well. So I don't have no complaints about that. The projector quality is very sharp because it is a 1080p full HD resolution so all the qualities when you project to it it can project up to 100 inch is not an issue I love the projection quality it is really nice the colors is great and the sound quality out of the built-in speakers at the bottom here is actually pretty decent just like what I even though I actually complain they don't include a 3.5 millimeter output it's a shame but luckily the built-in speaker is decent it is actually reasonable to be used inside a small room and you can actually enjoy your movies with that and that brings us to the content delivery of the projector I suspect Samsung actually just duplicate their TV system and put it inside the projector and of course they have to modify a bit in terms of the interface and some of those features one thing I don't understand why Samsung wanted to default the default input or screen as the HDMI input it will always tell me there is no HDMI signal come on Samsung made up your mind if you want to make this as a smart online only connected wireless projector then you should always when I turn it on just keep us 
at the home screen and that's it don't have to remind me the hdmi is not connected you don't even provide the hdmi adapter for me what is in your mind make it up and whew, that brings us to the final the biggest complaint i have for this projector the price in Malaysia, the freestyle is officially priced at 4,999 ringgit Malaysia. Overpriced. In short, it is overpriced. You have more options in the market. If you have 5,000 ringgit to spend for a projector, you can easily get laser base or you can even get a short throw projector if you want to. Given that Samsung call this a freestyle, I don't sense a bit of freedom in it you see because the main weakness being the lack of built-in battery and you need that wonky battery base and on top of that you still need to connect a cable over it feels like an afterthought but other than that if you just want a solid Samsung experience Samsung experience okay and you want to place this projector at a stationary location oh that also brings me to another complaint the base itself has no screw holes so you cannot actually mount it to your ceiling wall but samsung do have an accessory where you plug it to the back and then somehow adapt it to become an e27 socket then you can plug it into a light bulb socket i don't know why you want to do that but hey if you want a stationary projector whereby you just plug in the power and then leave it somewhere else maybe you want to drill a hole at the base here and then screw it to the wall yes make it as a stationary projector then you won't regret with the uh, image quality and connect with bluetooth to your sound system i mean that should work for you but other than that i think samsung really need to go back to the drawing board and redesign the freestyle maybe the freestyle tool can fix all the problems i have so yeah that's it for this episode i know it is more like a rant compared to a review but this is an actual user experience it is non-sponsored even though they did supply this device for me to test i have to return it and maybe after this they won't send any sample to me anymore but if any of you working with samsung for this product please consider all the rand i had said just now and yeah that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.